Lewandowski. Definitely awake. Okay, I'm coming your way. <clears throat> Come here, this one. She's got the line wrapped around that hook. But it's in the leader, so we're in good yeah. shape. Net down in the water. You got it. There you go. All right, super. Okay, the witch is now out of the boat. Period. We are going to crush some fish. Yeah, you stay in the water and swim, honey. Yeah, she'd be fine. You slide her this way, and I'm going to pop the one hook out of her. Okay, hang on to the net. Got it. She's <clears> free. <throat> Feisty bigger, huh? Yeah, she's free. Let's see if I can get, get her to back up in that net so I can take her out of here real quick. There you go. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Good wow. Enough. Barely hooked, huh? Barely, yeah. See, you thought she was hooked up so bad? Yeah. They get rid of them so quick. That was from shaking her head. Yep. Look at her flex her body. Yeah. She is tense and ready to go. Yeah. Nice fish, Bob. How about a 40? Yeah. Just right there at about 40. The fish you had in the corner? That's what I'm looking at. There you go. Bigger. There you go. Oh. Probably three, three to four pounds Ooh. bigger. Ooh. Heavier. Wow. That's unbelievable. Yeah, she's pretty. She might be 40. Ah, she's 40. I was gonna say she might be 41, but she's 40. There she goes. Super duper. Thanks for net job, guys. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back. Ben Seacrest and I. Ben's one of the team at Shimano that brings us this product you see every week on the show and you get to use. He and I are chasing muskies here out of Wiley Point at the PhD, Mike James Memorial PhD, and we're looking for big, big muskies. That's a nice warm-up fish. Which is out of the boat, we can go catch some more. Thanks for the net job, boss. Yeah, man. Thank you, thank you. The Mike James Memorial Strictly Muskie PhD is a Simply Fishing event held annually at Wiley Point Lodge on Lake of the Woods during the last week of August. Students in attendance will learn from some of the finest talent in the industry the nuances of the sport of muskie fishing. Manufacturers are on hand to represent their respective companies as well as learning more about the people choosing to use their products allowing them to better their efforts in fulfilling our needs as muskie anglers. Students will learn firsthand the proper elements of catching, and in some cases netting, handling, and of course the subsequent releasing of muskies. Such simple task as cutting hooks is not always so simple, therefore are covered thoroughly. The school is structured to identify what an angler needs to know from the science of fish location to the visual identification of hydrographic maps. Every day following lunch, the instructors demonstrate various lures in and on the water while students enjoy a bird's eye view from the decks of Wiley Point Lodge. Our intention is to make you a more confident and prepared muskie angler by exposing you to on-site conditions and demonstrating how to deal with them. For more information on how you can become a student of the Mike James Memorial Strictly Muskie PhD and start catching more fish, simply call us at 1-800-222-8775. Class size is limited. Join us for the first day of the rest of your musky fishing career at the Mike James Memorial Strictly yeah. Musky PhD at Wiley Point Lodge on Lake of the Woods. They do not like bright sun at all. I mean, she'll have that one. That's a nice fish. Stay with it. Nice fish, Bob. Good deal. Well, so they like bright sunlight here. You just keep yourself. Oh, yes. Big pike. Look at this pike. What is with these 20 pound plus pike? Give me a pike expert. <laughs> Jeez, 
go. Holy smokes, Rocky. <clears throat> that is a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> Let me cut some hooks, or get these hooks out of here real quick. Got it, boss. Give me a second, I'm gonna move some rods. Perfect. I'm gonna hand you this. You can come right down in the seat. Okay, there you go. Look at the size of that pike. There we go. A nice fish. Look at the girth on his pike. Don't spin on me. Keep, keep the hoop up. Okay. I think you want a picture of this one. Okay, I don't, yeah, you know I don't. Well, I'm pretty serious. That's a nice pike. Yeah. There she, there she is. That is a big, big pike. And the only reason that fish is up this shallow is because the water temperatures are perfect for that creature right now. Huh. Am I looking at digital or 35? Not digital, it's in the middle. It's in the middle, in the middle. okay. Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna get yours. Okay. That's a picture. Nice fish. Okay, set her back, big guy. Perfect. Go ahead, set her back. Nice fish. Get that out of the way. Yeah, grab her by the tail. Set her head down. There you go. Good deal. That is a nice pike. See how big she is across the shoulders? Yeah, she's thick. Yeah. She definitely gave my convergence rod and my little Corval to work out. <laughs> that was a Wiley boat that went by. <laughs> oh, that's a good pee. There she goes. Yeah, she there going. she goes. Say goodbye. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> that was another good one. I appreciate oh, it. Well, thank you. That was exciting. I thought for sure you had a muskie, and I was just complaining about how the bright sky is uh, kind of bad out here. Yeah, I know. And this net was awesome. This, this net was like a little holding tank. Yeah, nice little pin, isn't it? Yeah, definitely a pin. Got a boat on that point over there. Yeah, you do. They're working something. Ben, in case you don't know exactly where we are, that's that spot right there that you had that fish up. And right around the corner is where you had that fish eat you. Right. We'll work across this. A boat just left, a camp boat just left that over there from the Wiley. So we'll work around this. I'll pull deep, you can pull shallow until I can't pull deep anymore because it's going to come up real shallow in here three two three four feet right and this grandma's not going to let me do that but i want you to make sure that you comb that reef right there man throw right to those rocks right where those shallow rocks are hitting and work that thing out of there right Put every inch of it which really this is that new really carval that i that we've just come out with Actually, it's not on the market yet, but what it is, it's a, it's a aluminum die cast one piece frame that is just, uh, it's built, it's mid price range, uh, the 200s and 300s are 69 dollars and the uh -huh. 400 dollars 79 mm -hmm. And uh, what we try to do with this is we're trying to give people, uh, the guys that don't have that money to spend on the Calcuttas and the tees and stuff, right? Opportunity to buy a fantastic reel at a better price point. Um, like I said, it comes in three different sizes, and it's got aluminum side plates here. Uh huh. And then it's four ball bearings, and it is super, super comfortable. It's a very palmable reel. Well, you guys rolled the top bridge bar forward on it, so yes, your thumb rests we, right on it. And we we rolled it forward so that people would be able to get better access into the spool in case they get backlashes, which 
all of us seem to get one time or another in our life. Yeah, so. you're going to get them. But the reel itself, this 400 is a 5.2 to 1. Just perfect for doing this kind of stuff. And uh, the, the smaller 200 and 300 are uh, 5 8 to 1s. Well, we've caught smaller fish on it. I'm interested to see what a big one does to it. Oh, I'm sure that, I'm sure anything you can hook here, this thing can more than handle. handle so, it. we've been uh, at home testing them in saltwater, catching yellowtail on them by accident. Uh huh. And uh, yellowtail we're catching are 20, 25 pounds on these things. Ooh, so and they pull hard. They Harder pull really musky. hard. They're in the amberjack family. Well, I'm starting to bang some shallow rocks up here, so my grandma days might be coming to a halt. Ah. You're I don't just want to stick it and get on. If I stick this grandma in these rocks and we have to go on on top of it, we'll just destroy the whole spot. I See where think... that seagull is on that rock right there? Yeah. Make sure you comb the face of that thing. There's a little shelf right in front of these rocks. It sticks out about five feet, ten feet from the rock, and it's only about two, three feet deep. And it's a perfect ledge for those fish to come up and set up on. They'll get up there. That wave action's going. It's warm in that water right there, and it's an absolute classic spot. Well, out of all the spots we fished the last couple days, this is one that's uh, stuck out in my mind. Well, so. if we don't see anything across here, we'll go down. We got that other fish that's back there. It's about 50 inches on that weed line. She came up on both of us. But I'm banging rock pretty bad here, so I can tell it's very shallow in there. Yeah, play that. Play that stuff really shallow as we go across here, Ben. Water temperatures are hovering between 64.6 and 65. Oh, here we go. See if we can catch the top of the reef with a manta. No problem catching it with a crankbait. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, booger. I can't believe it. <laughs> That's come where I'm going to kill you, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> can we net this puppy? <laughs> yeah, we can net him. I, I mean, I am going to throttle you, dude. Gosh. Ah, <laughs> uh, Seacrest, what'd you do? Ah, uh, it's Bob Net, man. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Oh, give me the rod so I can do it, please. <laughs> this is the Bob Messicomer Show, folks. <laughs> Bob with another good net job from his friend Ben. <laughs> nice fish. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ben. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Okay, Doctor Bob. You're gonna get. You're gonna get bit tonight. It's going to happen. Yeah, it is. I'm going to pull up the trolling motor, and we're already trimmed all the way up because we're going to have to skim across this. That fish was in a foot of water. I saw the bite, so yeah. I just saw that. I was like, oh, here we go again. Yeah, I was just bouncing that grandma through there. Uh -huh. Just kind of bounce it hey, through the top. Bleeding. Yeah, she'll right Here, we'll get all her. Right. She don't like being in that pin, though. Yeah. I'll have you slide this way with her, and I'll pop her off. Hey, girl, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'll get you out of here. We're in good shape. We're in good shape. I know you'd like to see her on the end of your rod, Ben. No, but <laughs> that's okay. Just pick her up and get her. Let's let's show the people how nice a fish you got here. She's a pretty girl. She looks real sweet. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Come on. Okay. 
Now that's a musky, eh? Bright sunny day on top of the rocks. There is a warming trend going on, folks. I'm going to tell you the facts. We just idled about an hour back there just to take a breather because this bright sun is not conducive to typically good musky fishing. And we've been working the fish right there. We decided to come in and fish that fish and she wasn't home so we slid out on top of these really, really shallow rocks out here. This little 45, 44, 45, probably around 45, just sat up there and ate that manta, didn't she? Yeah, she wanted that. We're going to get you one, Ben. We're not done. No, I know. We'll continue. Here she goes. See you later, baby cakes. But in all honesty, that fish was exactly where it should have been. She's taking advantage of the warming trend available through that solar radiation. It's not perfect, no doubt about it. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't even consider this a good musky day. But reality is, we've been fighting clouds, rain, wind, 60 degree water temps, warmed up to 65, it says on my, on my graph, just as I pull the troll motor up, on top of this reef section. Sometimes that's all it takes. Look for those kind of situations. Ben, like I said, Ben had a beautiful fish right there on the end of it. We didn't succeed with that fish. We slid out, gave another shot to another piece of structure. Ben, we're not done. We're gonna go around this and see if there's another one on top. This time of the year, it's easy to find three or four or five or six big fish on a piece of structure like we just found. What do you say, Ben? I'm ready to get another one. What does it take to promote a high quality muscular sport fishery? To promote good fellowship and sportsmanship among men, women, and children? Muskies Incorporated. For more info on Muskies Incorporated, call 1 888 710 8286. That's 1 888 710 8286. Mr. please let me hurry and ben, get this everything. Is a 50 inch... Mr. Master Comer, please. It's a high 40. Mr. Master Comer, please let me do this for you. <laughs> it's a 5 0 fish. Oh, I need to come to the net. I'm barely hooked. Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Ooh, back under this boat there, brother. Okay, she barely hooked. Got one Don't hook. worry, don't worry. We'll get her. We'll get her. We'll get her. We'll get her. Oh, I'm good at scooping fish up in nets, bro. How's that, Mr. Oh, yes! Yes, Ben! 50 plus! <laughs> oh, leave her head. Leave her down on the water. I'm trying. Leave her, leave her down on the water. There's another plug here. Don't worry about it. Yeah, this. leave her down on the water. I'm gonna... Let me move the boat, okay? Oh, hey! She's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ben, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. She's up on that wind-blown shoreline, right on that little edge right there. Sunny, warm water coming in there. I'm gonna get us out here. She's gonna not like us, what we're doing right now. We've Folks, been that's what you call a real muskie. Yes, that's a fish. This that's is a California muskie that just came out here to visit. Just come. <laughs> mm. Oh, man. Oh, and I stopped that bait. Okay, if you can, I'm going to move these. Come toward me. Just leave her down in the water. Just use the hoop. Yeah, I mean, use the handle. If you slide her this way, I'm going to get some tools out here. We're also going to need a camera. Okay, if you want to come down in that seat right there. There you go. You got her on? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Got her? Yeah, put her in the water. Okay, I got to get her back. Oh, man. Oh. That fish got away, I don't know, 40 pounds. Right? No, she's over 30. Wow. Oh, she's bent head. in the water, too. She's actually 50 and a quarter. Yeah. 50 and a quarter. Look at that. Awesome fish, Bob. Oh, 
Isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she's a beauty. Oh, look at that body. Yeah. Solid, solid fish. She was up there on that sunny rock edge. This is where this is where the hook came around, right on her back yeah. right there. She's fine, she's not bleeding at all. Look at her. No, she looks good. Isn't she beautiful? Yeah. That's a solid, solid fish. Look at the root on this fish. See that tattoo on that fish? Yeah. It says B-E-N. <laughs> it says B-E-N? <laughs> Oh. Well, it's supposed to say B-E-N. Oh, Ben, that's a beautiful fish. <clears throat> yeah, that's thank a great you. one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sweetheart. Oh. What a nice fish. 50 incher. Nice one, Bob. Oh, thank you, God. Ben, thanks for being in the boat with me. We haven't thanks. had the best weather, let's face it. The, the, the challenge this year has been the weather, but you stood through, you fought this stuff through, you caught big fish yourself. Had a good time, you had a chance challenging the various lures. We got a chance to show the new rods and reels in the show this week. That's what it's all about. Let the consumers know what we have in the boat with us that we use to get these big fish each week. That's what we're here for. Folks, I want to say thanks for watching this week. Remember, practice CPR, catch, boat, and release. The future of fishing is truly in your hands. Handle them properly, put them back in the water. They'll be here for you the next time you come, or better yet, for the next generations to come. I want to thank everybody back at Wiley Point. They're the people that help make PhD, the Mike James Memorial PhD possible, and to make many of your next adventures here at the Lake of the Woods an incredible stay. We'll see you folks next week. And remember, God bless. Please let them go. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yes.